Welcome to this new video on component testing. In this video, I will show you how to test a component using VESA. Let's say you want to test uh, fuel pump number one. What you do, you go to electronics, engine, engine management, and select the related system. Continue to electronic systems. And this is the component overview. Now I want to find fuel pump number one that I'll be testing today. This takes me to the specific component overview with on the left hand side these diagnostic steps and on the right hand side the wiring diagram. Now the first step tells me to check the supply voltage on pin number one using the multimeter. Um, it tells me that the value should read between 12 and 14.4 volts. Let's just say that it doesn't. So I'm going to select no. Then it tells me the next step and it tells me to test the fuse. Um, if I want to know where the fuse is located, all I have to do is hover over the image and select fuse. And then click on location. And this location overview tells me that the fuse box is located on the left side of the uh, driver's side behind the dashboard. And that is actually fuse number 15 and it's a 20 amp fuse. Now the clever bit about this image is that it also shows you what the fuse box, box actually looks like. Um, I want to be sure it's the right component, so it tells me 15, that's actually the fuel pressure pump, so that's correct. Now, if I go back to the um, diagnosis overview, the second step tells me to check the ground point. Um, if I hover over the inch again, I can click on ground point, location, and it tells me, highlighted in green, that the uh, ground point is located on the rear right wheel housing. And that is why we call it Clearly Better Data.